the end of the Rugi era happens today, and I know that you couldn't help but just love to talk Rugi when you had that opportunity on the ticket. Uh, your thoughts as Rugi goes out the door with what, $25, $23 million still owed to him? Yes. Not one bit surprised. Not one bit surprised because the Rangers, number one, have given him chance after chance after chance. <laughs> and it seems like this year he started to take those chances a little bit more seriously than he had in the past. But still, there's only so much tolerance in the tolerance bank. And he has pretty much blown through all of his. And the Rangers, uh, I mean, you want to talk about a team that's rebuilding. You want to talk about the team that probably has the most serious rebuild in front of it than any in, in, in baseball. It's them. And there's just no place for him. I mean, Elvis is gone now. It's a complete turning over of the cards. And I'm sure if a good trade for Joey Gallo comes along, he'll be gone too. That's what I was going to ask you about. I heard them uh, talking about Evan was just, I think, on with uh, the Hardline guys, and he was talking about how uh, he was a contrarian, that he thought that the cycle that the Rangers are on might be such that he might make sense to keep as a cornerstone because re-signing him in the middle of his next contract would make him the centerpiece that hopefully in two years, the pieces that they are planning to put together would work together to create a cohesive team with an awesome team leader. But that is a whole lot of what ifs. And, yeah. you know, I mean, and I, I would be on board with that. If okay. that's what they chose to do, I would be on board with that because Gallo deals in that thing, which is the coin of the realm in baseball these days. And that is home runs. That is his one unique skill, and he's really, really good at it. He's really good at a lot of things, too. Yeah. I think the guy is a really good baseball player. Yeah. But, I, first of all, I don't think he's going to stay. Because, I don't think he's going to stay either. Because guys just don't stay here with the Rangers. When they hit free agency, generally speaking, they get out of here. If they've done anything at all and have a little track record behind them, you got some teams interested. Well, you can find a better scene for you than you can here. Yeah. Now, there is one variable here. And, again, I don't know how this is going to play because he's always he's already expressed some pretty hot sports opinions about that. But I wonder how he'll feel when he's standing out there in the outfield and it's 9 o'clock at night and there's no – thermometer or temperature gauge around showing that it's 99 degrees out there. Yeah, man. I wonder how much that actually plays into guys, you know, just getting their ass whipped by heat through the season and not wanting to be here. Well, all we'll these find years. out. We'll you find know? out. I, I mean, I, I think that's good. There, there's some that that's going to be a factor for. Yeah. But if Galloway, I mean, Galloway, if, if Joey can get back on track from, I mean, he had a tough year last year, but I don't know. I, I tend to just completely wipe the slate clean from last year because it was such a a bastardized year for everybody. Such an aberration in every way. But still, he had a tough year. Those games did count and I know they're going they're not going to forget about him. The years before though, if he if he can get back on track like he was, he's going to have a market for himself. Yeah, because I, he does deal in the coin of the realm. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that's absolutely the case. Hey, keep 